Um, one item that's gotten a little publicity of late is this, uh, uh, it's not Gaffney Drive, whatever it is down there. Um, and, and I guess there was reports on television and in the print media about uh, people hitting the uh, rather large craters that, that exist there. Now we have, obviously, this time of year, and particularly this year, quite a few potholes in the city, and I know that it's difficult to repair them in this kind of weather, and everybody does the best they can. But I continue to point out that I believe that particular stretch of road extending from Gaffney Drive to Commerce Drive, which is private property, which we continue to allow to be presented to the public as if it were a street. And, 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 and we can line up a dozen lawyers to say, well, it's technically not, and therefore there's, you know, and all of this stuff. But it, it continues to be presented as that, and we continue to use it as a connecting street between two city streets. Um, I don't think we can continue to, on the basis of technicalities, continue to walk away from culpability for the condition of that road and, and the resulting damage uh, when we have knowledge uh, of its condition. And I, I, I think if, if that's going to continue to be used as a de facto city street, and if, and if the owners of it, whether it's an estate or whatever, continue to be recalcitrant or whatever, and I know there were some discussions going on, then I think it's essential that be that you know because I think that is you know a public uh, issue or something that it be condemned and we take the darn thing and get it over with and quit quit this charade of saying, well, it's not technically a city street, so you know those ball joints we have no uh, responsibility for the tires and so on. As one who lost a tire there, not that it's a, a tragic loss in one's life, but as one who had that happen a couple of years ago, and you know what? The response from City Hall was the same thing. Well, it's a private street. Well, it's not a street. It's, I don't know what it is, but you, you can't, if, if, if it's not going to be a street and we're not going to step up and be responsible for it, then we should put a barricade across it with a big sign that says this is not safe passage. Well, the same should be said for Palmer Street Extension and others. Probably, but it's not as used as much. And this thing, um, you know, eventually, you know, how many how many hazards have to exist and how many tires have to be and rims have to be damaged before, you know, and it's a gray area. And, of course, the owner, you know, most people don't have any recourse against the owners of this property because... They're technically, I suppose, trespassing on it, and, and, you know, the courts don't lend themselves to the little guy going in and getting redress in these situations. So, um, Can we I, have a report from Mr. Yeah. Sly on our next meeting on where we stand as far as the acquisition and also on... For the 19th or for the 12th? Uh, preferably for the... I, it's the way the mayor's talking. He'd like to see something moving on it, so preferably Mr. for Mr. Sly is on vacation until... What do you What do you know about it? Anything? I know that he's I know that he's had um, a couple of discussions with Mr. Gardner. I'm not sure that he has gotten any further um, in the process with Mr. Gardner than we we were before we spoke to him. Well, then can we? <clears throat> Can we also get a ruling from Mr. Sly for that in the same meeting on whether or not we can condemn that road? We, we can condemn it. It's not a road. Pardon me? We I mean, we can do it. is take it by eminent domain. Yeah, the private property the public purpose. There's been a time involved in that and the appraisal process. I don't know if that's the process we're going through in trying to acquire that property. I'm not, I'm not sure what that process is because we have not. Because we don't know. We have, well, we haven't gotten any responses back from the attorney who is supposedly representing the estate. I know that Mr. Sly talked with Mr. Gardner and told Mr. Gardner um, what the city wanted to do. And um, to, to the best of my knowledge, we have not heard anything back. Well, lawyers are, are by nature slow sometimes, but they're not stupid. And, and I think that... Uh, most cases, but uh, uh, I, I think that from the point of view of that estate, I, I doubt they want to sit down and negotiate any price. They might want to take their chances in front of a judge on what the value of it is, wouldn't you? 